Just keep winning, just keep winning, just keep winning, just keep winning. Canada beats the Czech Republic 3-0 in the quarterfinals of the 2021 IIHF World Junior Championship. This one wasn't a complete outclassment. This was the first tight game that Canada was in. The first time that the team they were up against actually challenged them and actually was a threat to win and a threat offensively. But another shutout for Canada, another shutout for Devin Levi, who was absolutely fantastic in this one. And Canada keeps on chugging, stays undefeated in the tournament, now 5-0 going into the semi-finals. This game, first period, Connor McMichael in Canada's zone, flips the puck up, springing Dylan Cousins. Him again on a breakaway. Dylan Cousins goes in, does a little deke, scores, puts Canada up 1-0. And Dylan Cousins, this right now is his tournament. Going into today, my two picks for MVP of the tournament were Tim Stutzla and Dylan Cousins. If Germany beat Russia today, I would have 100% given it to Stutzla. They came very close to doing that. That was a great game. But they lost. Germany's eliminated. So Dylan Cousins, this is his tournament. Seven goals and 13 points in five games for Dylan Cousins. He has been on absolute fire. Been Canada's best player of the entire tournament so far. Been Canada's most consistent player of the entire tournament so far. He is 100% Canada's MVP. And if they keep on trucking to the gold medal game, probably the tournament MVP. Then later in the period, Canada on the power play, just as the power play ends, Bowen Byram on the right side takes a shot. Nick Malik gets a piece of it, but not enough. Malik, both of these first two shots, he got pieces on and they just trickled through him. Really got a feel for him because both the Canada goals where he was in net were shots that he could have had. He almost had and they just squeaked through. But Bowen Byram gets on the board, puts Canada up 2-0 and that closes out the first period. Second period was a little more Czech Republic oriented. Shocks were 11 to six for the Czech Republic, but neither team was able to find the back of the net. It was a tight, hard fought period. Canada is continuing to get the job done, stays up two nothing going into the third. Third period, with just over five minutes left, down two goals, the Czechs pull their goalie. That's right, they're pulling the Patrick Waugh strat of pulling the goalie very early and it almost works out for them. For the first two minutes with the goalie pulled, they have one strong shift of puck possession in the offensive zone and get like four or five shots off, which Devin Levi, excellent on all of them, stops all of them very easily. But the Czechs were starting to pound shots on net and were just controlling the puck very well. Very good usage right at that point of the early empty net pull and it almost paid off for them. But Connor McMichael gets in the neutral zone, goes in on goal, puts it into the empty net. Three nothing Canada, Connor McMichael seals the game and Canada is going on through to the semi-finals. And now, if the USA beat Slovakia today, Canada will play Russia in the semis. If Slovakia beats the USA, we have a rematch with Slovakia. So most likely USA is gonna win, most likely a Canada-Russia semifinal, which is always a doozy of a matchup. That would be very exciting. Both Canada and Russia have been very good this tournament. The Russians have shown a bit of weakness though, losing two nothing to the Czech Republic in the group stage. I would say Canada is the favorites for that matchup, but again, it's Canada versus Russia at the World Juniors. Literally anything can happen. It is going to be a hell of a matchup if it does end up being that in the semifinals. So now there's nothing left to do, but watch the US Slovakia game and wait to see who Canada will play in the semifinals on Monday. So that does it for this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more of my stuff, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below in the description and I will see you next time.